All right, in 41 seasons of Utah Jazz basketball, there's been only one voice on the mic in the arena. Public address announcer, Dan Roberts. This week on The Archive, we go back to the 1988-89 season where KSL sports reporter Steve Cyphers introduces us to a young Roberts, but still that same iconic voice. Make sure the Jazz team is well represented in Houston in February. The voice is unmistakable. Other than the one that sings the national anthem, it's the only one you hear at a jazz game. It's showtime. Here we go. The curtain went up on the Dan Roberts show 17 years ago when the Utah Stars entered their second year. No formal training. I mean, I just did it. Just figured out that this was, you know, how to do it, turn the mic on, talk, get information out, shut up, and then, you know, pick it up again. The stars picked up and left, but when the Jazz came to town, he was back at the mic, publicly announcing loss after loss. But I hung on primarily because I knew that it couldn't last. The times and teams have changed, but the resident Roberts remains the same. I'm a home court advantage. Some say too much of an advantage. Two years ago, when the Warriors and the Jazz fought in the playoffs, a San Francisco writer blamed Roberts for inciting a riot. Whipping the crowd up, yes, I do that. I don't think I take responsibility for the fight. It is a powerful position. I could yell fire and get everybody out of here in a moment's notice. And with that power comes a little bit of fame. You know, I get recognized. I have my ego satisfied. It's, I mean, and there's 12,000 people here quite a few nights in a row, and as a consequence, you know, they know who I am, and I, they know my voice. Way out there. Marking from John Stockton. The voice that, like the players, has good games. The playoff series last year with the Lakers. And bad games. We had Phoenix in one time two years ago, and I introduced Larry Nance's Jim Nance. That was one. That was a glaring mistake. But Robert's mistakes are like Indiana victories. They don't happen very often. As reliable as a Larry Bird free throw, he's one of the best in the NBA. And though he says the job isn't all that lucrative, it is all that exciting and all that rewarding, talking about basketball and all that jazz. I want to go to the Moriat. Can I go to the Moriat, Mom, please? 25's in. Mailman's back. Eaton's back. Back in for the jazz, number 32, the mailman, Tom Malone and Marky. And don't tell anybody this, but I'd almost pay them to let me do it. Let's bring him on out, Baptist Jazz!